Hey friends! I hope you're having a great day. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Salina. I live in rural South Germany and show you my countryside life. I talk about happiness and health and also German traditions. And I guess that is what you're here for now, because this is my series about the spiritual meanings of the months in Germanic paganism, general spirituality and religions, and also its German traditions. Today is a special episode of this series because I'm gonna take you to the my pole setup in our village. But before we are coming to that, I just give you the facts about the month of May real quick. The name May, May in German, is coming from a Roman goddess, the Roman goddess Maya, which is the goddess for fertility. That's basically also what the month is all about. It's about fertility, love, sexuality even, and marriage. That is funny because it's even the most popular month for getting married today. So it kept its meaning throughout the time. And fertility is also logical because all the flowers are blooming now. May is the month where the most plants are blooming and where everything is getting very fertile. In German we have the saying alles neu macht der Mai, which means May makes everything new. So everything is getting fresher out in nature, all these new plants are blooming and growing. It is also a good sign for your marriage actually when you marry in Mai, because all is becoming new, so you have a fresh start into this new chapter of your life. On the second Sunday in May, we celebrate Mother's Day. <laughs> I guess you know it. And it is a very popular all over the world. And here in Germany, it is actually not an old tradition at all. The previous videos of this series always were about these very old traditions. But Mother's Day is not one of them. It is very modern. We celebrated in Germany since 1923. It was implemented by the unity of German flower shops or flower sellers. They initiated the tradition by putting up signs into their windows where it was written Eret die Mutter, which means honor your mother. And they wanted the people to get by flowers, of course. Originally, it was coming from the American women's right movement, but the flower sellers saw that it was a good um, commercial thing in the States, so they also wanted to take it over to Germany so they could increase their flower sales. So now, Coming finally to the My Pole tradition you all have waited for. Or we also can call it My Tree, because in German we say My Baum, which basically means My Tree. The My Pole setup is actually not a tradition that is exclusively for Germany. It is widespread. They do it in Austria, in the Czech Republic, in Slovenia and Slovakia, and um, many parts of Germany. It takes place on May 1st or April 30. And in Bavaria, the maple is sometimes colored with white and blue rectangles, so like the Bavarian flag. In our village, it's not like this. They just keep the pole clean and just the tree. The origin of the custom isn't very clear, actually. Some scientists say that it could come from Germanic forest rituals because the Germanic people were worshipping tree gods and forest gods so it maybe originates from that. 
Today is Sunday, the 1st of May. And as I know that I'm gonna talk about this in my May video, I'm gonna take you to the traditional Maibaum Aufstellen in our village. I've got my dirndl, my traditional dress, <laughs> and I've got my camera. So let's go! The huge and long maypole gets transported with horses to the village park, where the setup takes place. The traditional music band of our village is leading the parade. This horse bread is called Haflinger. They are the traditional horse species for the Alps especially in Austria, Switzerland and also Bavaria, Germany. Everyone is dressed up in their festive traditional dresses. Dirndl for the women and Lederhosen for the men. The young men who are doing the setup are preparing everything now, as you can see. <laughs> they push the tree up with sticks, which will take around two hours. So it's a very slow process and done only by hand. <laughs> It's a huge event for the whole village and the children are super excited. Well, also the adults because it is very impressive to see this massive long decorated tree trunk pushed up by a group of young men. <laughs> Around 30 young and strong villagers are taking part in the process guided by a carpenter of the village who may also help crafting the maypole. The traditional music band is playing songs from time to time and there is food and drinks available. <laughs> The music band has the 
their own special traditional clothing. That is a very complicated and expensive craftsmanship. Later, my grandparents also joined me and my dad to watch the process and enjoy the celebrations. I was feeling myself in my journal this day. It was the first time in two years that I was wearing it. Because of Covid, all the feasts were cancelled. But now everything is coming to life again. After about two hours, the maypole was standing solidly in the middle of the park, rising high into the sky. Now, one of the young men has to climb up the tree to take off the lines that were used to stabilize the direction of the tree during the setup. He is using the shields on the tree trunk to climb. <laughs> The shields show all the handyman businesses of the village, like the bakery, the garden market or the carpenter. Das ist schon wie hoch das ist. Das ist schon der Eis da. Da war Klöppi, da kann das sehen. Ja, ja. Ist ja gut. Ja, dann kannst du das. Oh, weil er hat mir der Hälfte Hut an den Schmerz. Ich bin was da. Ich bin was da. Yeah, 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 this. After he removed all the lines, he has to pull up a more spear, which is one liter of beer, without spilling it. <laughs> then he has to down everything up there as fast as he can. Yep, Germans, there is nothing else I can say. <laughs> Of course, he is secured with a climbing security line during the whole process. How did you 
tradition actually takes place and how the maypole looks like and how the celebration is, is actually very local and regional and it can differ from village to village. So how it exactly takes place is very small scaled. There are two more traditions surrounding the maypole. And the first one is Maibaumstehlen. So to steal the maypole. Of another village. It is the custom that young men of the village are watching over the maypole the night before the maypole setup takes place. They have to protect it from thieves. <laughs> The thieves are members of the other villages and communities and they try to steal the maypole from the other village. <laughs> and when it happens, it is a huge shame. <laughs> so the young men protect the maypole very well usually. Sometimes it can happen that they are too drunk and fall asleep because they are drinking a lot of beer. <laughs> it's always a party also and then it can happen that they manage to steal the maypole and yeah then the village that it got stolen from has to change a lot of natural goods like beer to get their maypole back if they don't do that the maypole will be set up as a trophy in the village that had stolen it and it is a huge shame as i said so normally they always exchange it and try to get it back. It all, would also be sad because the village itself doesn't have a maypole then and well, they don't have a maypole set up in the celebration so they can't really do it. <laughs> they are always exchanging it. Liebesmein is another custom surrounding the maypoles. And it is actually that a young unmarried man puts a smaller maypole in front of the house of his girlfriend or the girl he favors. This maypole is very much smaller of course than the one for the village. It is usually a birch stick, birch tree decorated with colorful bows. It is a big sign for love and appreciation for the girl that receives it and I have never received one actually yet. <laughs> but I know uh, someone who has, so a girlfriend of mine already received one. It is so cute, her boyfriend did it for her. The custom is that the boy who set up the little maypole takes it back on the 1st of June. It's the custom that the father of the girl is giving a whole case of beer to the young gentleman. <laughs> and the mother is baking a cake for him and the girl is giving him a kiss. <laughs> That's the custom. The young man is usually sharing all that beer with his friends who have helped him to set up the maypole for his girl and also to take it back then. So it's usually also a community event. <laughs> in some regions it can also be the other way around in a leap year. So then young women or married men are setting up maypoles for their loved ones and the person who they admire. It is only in some regions but I guess it's also very fun. <laughs> I hope the girl is also getting a cake and beer and a kiss from the boy then and from his family. <laughs> So that was everything about the German traditions in May and everything surrounding the maypole tradition, which is the most important one in May. But we still have the spiritual tasks. So as in May everything is about love, fertility, marriage, it is a good time to look at these parts of your life and maybe take more time for your relationship. If you don't have a partner that doesn't matter you can also take more time for the relationship with your family or your friends and look closer on that. It's a great time to go on dates, 
spend wonderful quality time with your loved ones, show them your appreciation through gifts, especially on Mother's Day or Father's Day or for your partner, your friends. The possibilities are endless here. Just pay more attention to your relationships. If you want to propose to someone, now is the time. Get those ring or whatever you are giving to them and get out in this world full of flowers and romance in May and yeah, propose to them. <laughs> it's gonna be very romantic and aligned with the natural energies and traditions. And if it's true what they say that marriages and proposals held in May are gonna be lucky ones with all this fresh new May energy, your marriage will be blessed. So do it now. <laughs> Finally, I can say that May is the month of finding happiness in our relationships, refreshing and renewing them and making them our number one priority. So I have a task for you today. Show appreciation to one person you love or your partner today. Get them a present or cook something for them, do something special for them, take them to a special place, say words of appreciation to them, tell them how much you love them and why you love them, why they are so important to you, why they are such wonderful person and yeah. You set up the right energy for May. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it interesting and fun to see how we do the Maipole setup in our village. And yeah, I wish you a wonderful, blessed month of May with lots of love and fertility if you wish for that and a nice proposal if you plan that. So have a great time. I'm <laughs> <laughs>